So if you want to see that, I know some people do actually like to watch me do Slayer whilst uh, I'm like talking about stuff. Oh, 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 I've never been able to do this before. I can climb through here now because I'm 70 agility. It's my first time ever doing it. That's pretty cool. I've never been able to do that. Uh, God, that take. That's so much quicker than running all the way around. I'm pretty glad I got it now. But yeah, uh, I went to Manchester Met, like uni, the Ooh. other day. Well, we went uh, to York first, actually. Well, yeah, we went, me and Tom went to York first, uh, which was pretty sick, because that's why we're thinking of going to uni, because I want to go and do marketing. Uh, let me just see what I have to do here. One, two, uh, summon, put those on, put that on, put that on, put that on, renewal. Quick prayers and go. No, 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 no. Come on, what the fuck? Why is he so big? What the fuck is this? So many people. What is th Are these all bots? What? Yeah, of course they fucking are. Oh my god, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen and I'm just wasting my prayer. What in the name of all that is holy is going on? What the fuck? We're getting rid of these soon, isn't it? Right, that brings me nicely on to my next point. Fuck off, fuck off. Oh my god, are you... Do I have to right-click these? Right, bugger this. What is, th what is this? What on... Oh my god, this is the biggest load of bullshit. I have to right-click it all? Oh dear lord, this is so shit. I don't think you ever had to right-click this shit before. So what saying. Anyway, so I was going to, uh, what's it called? Oh, I need to activate my aura, actually. Activate. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going to, uh, well, we went to York, sorry. And it was kind of, I don't know if anyone uh, has ever been there to check it out, but it's kind of a... Dive. Well, it's kind of fairly posh, actually. Not so much a dive, but... Very nice. academic, like it's very much for uh, for people that are you know purely about getting the old grades and stuff. Like not many people that are like, oh, you know, I want to party and stuff. And it's not like all me and Tom want to do when we're at uni, but we are very much party people. And you need like really high grades to get in there. And it was very campusy in the way that it kind of reminded me. I don't know if anyone what yeah, if anyone watching this video ever been to Centre Parks, then you'll know what York's like. Like there was the nice coffee place, nice kind of bar area and it was really prim and proper but it just didn't look like anything fun ever went down there and we went with Tom's dad and he was telling us that an upside to it could be that all the girls and guys will be at it like rabbits because there's nothing else to do <laughs> which is really funny because we open their eyes, they open their ass. yeah that basically that was Tom's dad's like point of advice to us he just went you open your eyes and they open their ass <laughs> Uh, that was he told that that's the kind of advice he was giving us about what the fuck is this is the biggest load of bull bullshit in the world but yeah so that was it was pretty funny when his dad said that but uh, I mean yeah that was it was an alright uni in, in fairness it wasn't shit it's just it was a high grade to get in and it just doesn't look fun at all so I don't think I'll really want to go there as a first choice but for Tom's course it was pretty sick wasn't it Tom yeah Pretty cool for my yeah, it's pretty good for his course because it had like the lighting of the BBC and the studios where they like did media. Because Tom wants to do TV and film, and I want to do marketing um, and advertising. So two kind of different courses, but basically, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I thought it, it was it was a, the only problem for me was it didn't really have my course. This is really annoying. I can't be doing with this shit. I'm just gonna come and stand over here and carry on with the video because. It's kind of taking me off my concentration as well. But basically, yeah, it was like, I want to do marketing. They didn't really do that there. They did other courses like psychology and sociology that I was thinking of doing because I could have done marketing with, um, could have done marketing with psychology. So I was thinking of maybe doing that. But for the grades you needed to get in and it just didn't look that fun. I couldn't be arsed with it. It's mm. kind of very campy. But for you, it was awesome, wasn't it, Tom? Yeah, pretty cool for me. Yeah. I've, I've, but the equipment yeah, that they had for you was sick, wasn't it? Manchester, though. That looks sick. Oh yeah, yeah. We went basically after we went there. We, we went. Were, we're like gonna be the guys that hold the big parties and. Like, yeah, that's kind of what we're hoping. We want to just. I mean, me and Tom are just. We just love parties. We love social stuff. We just, all that kind of shit. That's just where we want to be at. So, 
I, I mean, yeah, I want to get rich and older, but at the end of the day, I want to have fun primarily, so I'm going to be one of these people in uni going out, having a laugh. I mean, I'm going to get good grades as well. I mean, that's what I do at A-level now, but I just want to be having fun. My life's too short. So Manchester Met, we went there and checked that out. And the building for where I'm going to be is a brand new building, £75 million pound they've spent on it. It looks amazing. Like, fucking state of the art. No one's even been in it until I get there. And I, so I've seen, like, pictures of what it is inside. And we went into this room to see what all the courses were like, like the people advertising them. There was, like, this fucking dead hot chick trying to, like, tell me about my course. And I was like, I am coming here. Full of she, Irish hot Oh, God. So many like, Irish chicks with this cute kind of Southern Ireland voice. And they were all, like, dead art and stuff. It was fucking crazy. Just the amount of girls in that in that city that are just attractive. I'm. I was just me and Tom just texting. I remember when you texted me, Tom, and you were just like, "Where do I sign up?" I no, just. No, no. I, I you. <laughs> I went to text you about a hot Irish girl who was talking to me about my course, and then when I went to text you, I, I read a message off my phone that you sent me saying that this hot Irish redhead had just served you dinner at oh. a, <laughs> a restaurant. It was fucking off. crazy, man. There was just too many. I. I I, I just want to go to that city so badly now for uni. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it's just... The building looks sick. It's like glass and state-of-the-art stuff inside it, and that's that was a really big appeal for me. And the accommodation looked absolutely sick as well. Um, and just the city itself, it had a lot of stuff going on in it, that kind of stuff. So it just looked pretty sick. So I'm definitely... That's going to be my first choice, and I've applied for two courses there. Uh, no, four courses, sorry. Just basically the sandwich course and then the normal course, and I've done two subjects there. I've applied for a sandwich course. is just basically where they put you for a year in the work. Tom, why are you doing press-ups on my bed? Such a... <laughs> 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 I'm actually doing half on it. You're a weird guy, but anyway. <laughs> right, so other than that, that's what we went and did. That looked pretty awesome. I was just thinking, though, when we do get there, like, the worst nightmare for me and Tom will be if we go in accommodation. Because you go in, like, halls and stuff, but you can go in a flat. That's what it is at Manchester Met. Because you don't have their own campus. Yeah. That's our worst kind of nightmare. If we get someone that's, like, really lazy living with us, for example, you know what I mean? Just, you move in the first day, there's just some fucking slob. And he, like, just <laughs> goes and, like, eats something, you know. I'm just going to be like, I will punch you in your face <laughs> if you do not clean your shit up. Like, <laughs> that's the thing though what would you do if you just I'm end up with some bathroom, proper man. yardy person that's I'm like my own bathroom, man. oh yeah, yeah yeah you get to choose basically you can pay more and like choose to uh have your own bathroom like en suite and I'm getting crabs off some dirty bastard oh yeah me and tom were just like i don't even give a shit how much it is i'm 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 like just gonna get my own bathroom because you know you're gonna be meeting loads of girls having parties and stuff and well, one of us just <laughs> And then oh yeah, well yeah, mind. we could even do that if only one of us got it because you have to apply for. But if we apply for the first day when it, when you like the first of April, which is the first day you apply if for accommodation, it, we'll get yeah, it. Yeah, if one of us got it though, you could just come down to mine if you want to get a shower. For yeah. Because it's literally we'll probably be living. Well, I mean they're gonna have a shower in there. It's just the fact that I want my own. I don't want to be using some yardy shower that like loads of people are using and stuff. It's just fuck annoying. And it's just awkward, that awkward moment when it's an open plan living room and someone just goes into the bathroom for like ages, you just know that they're having a shit. <laughs> well, if you're having a shower, you forget to lock the door and someone runs in and has a shit. Yeah. <laughs> you're, not at that, you're not at that stage of comfortable comfortable with each other like for example me and you could probably do that but for like somebody else you've got to know them for, for such a long time oh definitely cool. you've got to um, know someone for ages for that to be that for that shit to be you know i mean just acceptable but i'd like, be all because well what are you gonna do if one of your housemates is a dead out girl and she's like yeah i've got to go for a shit now in front of everyone it's like <laughs> it's awkward man it's just she has a shit and it stinks and then you have to go in and have a shower and like that made that like kind of printed image of like yeah, Dude, it, yeah. You just you don't like to think. I don't like to think that girls go to the toilet. I just yeah. like to think that in <laughs> magic. Poo roses. And yeah, yeah, they poo rose petals. Girls don't. They poo rose petals on fart perfume. That's just <laughs> what that in my head. That's what I want to believe, and I refuse to believe anything different. Sugar and spice. And yeah, nice. that that's it. But that's just, that's our biggest fear is like some dirty fucker, or just like some dick. They like cock block or some chick that's like you're not bringing girls back here. Oh, and I will. Fucking no I will be like, I have not come to this university for this bullshit. If you wanted this kind of lifestyle, you should have been in motherfucking York. Like, really? That's, that's, that'd be my biggest fear. But, um, uh, so that was pretty awesome, yeah. It was, it was pretty fun. Why can I not attack this? Oh, what the fuck? 
Tom, you don't understand how much this game's messed up, man. From well, bots. bots. This is ridiculous. I'm I'm at like black demons. They're not even a good thing to kill. Like they don't even give you much apart from charms. Um, what is the, it going on with these bots? Are you saying something about? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you about it in a second. But basically, I mean, I'm here now. This is not a good place, and there's a billion bots. It's just all of them just around here, all bots with the D legs and shit, and it just pisses me off. I remember at one point when I could come here and there'd be no one but me, literally one other person, and this is the point to where it's got. That, I mean, I'm gonna click cut to a kind of clip where I kind of show you what it is that uh, they're actually RuneScape's doing because it's actually pretty cool. I like what they're gonna do on Tuesday. I think it is. Uh, they're doing a massive scheme. I'm just gonna kind of um do -do. yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just put that in a I'll just put that image over this when I talk about it I'll just edit this clip out or something just put it there shall I can I can I actually do that can we edit that yeah I can just edit it um, right so I'll just carry on doing this then but basically yeah um RuneScape have come up with a, a way to get rid of bots and it's Kind of, I don't really understand a lot of it because I don't understand the terms that they use, like cl um, injection bots and reflection. I don't really get that, but apparently they're getting rid of like the main one that there is. Um, so I, I mean, it sounds awesome. It sounds a good idea. 98% of bots will be gone this Tuesday, so they're doing some kind of awesome update for that. And if it does happen, it's going to be the biggest update of the game for me. Probably bigger than G or anything like that. It's, it's like a, a huge zone, update. Then what's going to happen is everyone will result back to. Uh, well, yeah. The problem is the problem I see with it is, oh, it sounds a really good idea at the time, and it, yeah, it will work. It probably if it does get rid of these bots, but there's loads of problems with it. First of all, these bots people that like. They're obviously very clever to be able to make a script that can like do stuff like there's bots for quite complex stuff on the game now, like Bandos bots and Jad bots. And if they can work out that, there's even Dungeoneering bots apparently. And if you can make that, well, odds are they're going to be able to get around the new update. So I'm not going to hold my breath and think it's going to be awesome. I think it might work, it probably won't work forever, but it might hold them off for a while. The, I'm really happy that Jagex are actually doing something about it. That's the main thing. I'm just appreciative that they're taking. They yeah, and because they must, they well, they must know it's shit. Because look at this, right? I'm on a Slayer task. Just wanted to do some demons whilst I'm videoing. And look at, I'm having to fucking fight for a demon. It's the biggest load of bullshit. It, it's honestly ridiculous. Like you'll get to people be getting 99 f fucking fishing for like months on end. They get it for what? For some like just lag fest I mean and not just that when they come to sell their shit it's worth nothing there's no point anymore in doing a lot of stuff because it's just such a low price it's, for me it's very much ruined the game bots very much not enough for me to quit but for, enough for me to get pissed and that's partly why I don't play because it's just I mean if, if like there was no bots I would like just get 85 dungeon in, in a few days and go like frost dragons I'd make quite a bit of money and that'd be good but I can't even do that in my spare time because there's no point doing it because there's bots and they're not the bones aren't worth that much anymore. It was just really kind of annoying just all around what's kind of happened because of bots. But the other downside to the update will just be that I think RSGP gold sites will still happen because everything will go up in price and people won't be able to afford a lot of stuff. And then I don't know if anyone remembers, but a while back this kind of happened because they. Basically, the items will go up in price and everyone will still want stuff. Because that's never going to change. People are always going to be greedy by nature and want stuff. And uh, everything, so everything, yeah. Bots will be gone. Prices of um, all the resource bots. Because think about it, resource bots are the biggest problem. They're getting all the kind of lowering prices and shit. And all, think prayer pots, um, herbs, uh, f food, everything will go up. Even boss drops because there's not going to be any people doing bosses. So... You're gonna have a lot less players. P things will go up in price, and then because you've still got the free trade, right? You've still got wilderness. That means that people are gonna be like, "Oh shit!" You know, I just want that extra ten mil, and then I can buy such and such because it's gone up in price. Why don't I just you know use the RSGP gold site, right? So then people will start using that. Then Jagex will have a new problem of, "Oh, we've got to stop." I mean, it, there is a problem with it now, but it's not that bad. It, well, it is bad, but it, no, I can't see many people doing it because a lot of stuff's cheap, and I mean. I don't know, I, I think it's pretty sad to use RSGP gold sites anyway, but I, I think probably it's going to make more RSGP gold sites. It, um, 
but I don't know. I mean, I might be wrong, but that's just my opinion. And then what's going to happen is Jagex will be like, oh, because we've got this problem now where everyone's doing gold, we need to stop that. And oh, how are we going to do that? Why don't we? Uh, why don't we call free trade off again? So then it's just going to be a circle. It's just going to exactly exactly what happened last time is going what going to be what, ha what happens again. So I mean, it's good that what they're doing, trying to get rid of bots in theory, but. I don't see if it's going to make a big difference in the end. They're just going to end up getting rid of free trade, which would be kind of annoying, but I don't really mind because I didn't vote for it to come back. If anyone doesn't know that, I didn't really want it back because I just knew this would happen. Bots and stuff like that. And the PK and they'll probably have to stop as well because you could free trade that way. Um, I mean, I don't really PK, so it doesn't affect me if they bring bad, a bounty hunter back. But pff, whatever, I mean, it's going to piss some people off, but you got to break a few eggs to make an omelette, is the way I see it. And I prefer the gameplay when, well, before when we had no free trade and we had Bounty Hunter because its stuff was reasonably priced and there wasn't fucking a shitload of bots just doing, like, black demons right now and just pissing me off and not letting me get on with my stuff. Well, yeah, the G, the G is just, like, that's run by us and we're just fucking it up at the moment because everyone's like... You know, just fucking around with prices and bots and stuff. I mean, when it, it just gets to the point when, you know, when it's got to this point, right, when I can't even do Black Demons, is when it's gone too far. Like, these are not, I don't know how to explain to you, Tom, these are not, I don't get why they're botting them. They don't even give you anything. Look at them all, all of them. How many bots are there in this room? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What, how many, every single white dot in this room, if I look around, is a bot. None of look at them. The they're all in the exact same Can you year. Um, I could try. I don't know how I'd do it though. I could say. Um, Congratulations. No, because I don't know what they're doing it for. They're probably getting some kind of resources. If they were ranging, I could say you've run out of arrows, and then it'd probably they'd probably teleport. But it's just like. It's just retarded. If you know what they're doing, it's just, look at them. 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 You can tell they're all bots as well because they're all in D dragon. Like, no one wears dragon. Look at them with their dragon skirts, dragon legs, their shitty granite or rune. Uh, not granite, rock shell. Fucking, he's wearing a rune med helm. And he's got a fucked up name. I should report every single one of them, but I'd be wasting my time because they wouldn't do anything. And I think they're going to do it on Tuesday. The other thing is, I don't get how they're going to work out who's doing it. So I don't think... I mean, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to be nervous about being on that day in case they think everyone's a bot, but I think I'll just make sure I'm in my clan chat talking to people. Because on that day, they're also doing a Slayer day. I think it's just a way of kind of saying, sorry, we've been massive arseholes and not helped you out in a while. Um, and we haven't got this sorted out sooner. Uh, so I'm going to be on for that day, maybe, and do some Slayer. Because you get some kind of bonus. I think it's like triple XP or triple... Um, it's like triple XP and they respawn faster or something like that I read on the page. I'll just bring that up now because obviously I can't get a black demon kill. So I'll just bring it up. Uh, go off that, off that. Uh, here we go. And it says, it's, I'm not going to read all that because it's going to take ages, but I've just told you what they're going to do. Like 98%, it says, um, of the bots are going to be gotten rid of. Uh, so it sounds pretty good. But then he says here that they've already banned over 1.5 million bots, and that's bullshit because uh, I just. I doubt it. I doubt it. There's, there's no way because we'd have seen more people logged off. At the, I don't. It doesn't make sense. I don't think. I think that that's a, that's an exaggeration. But it's, the project is called Cluster Flutter, which which is a weird name. But I just want it to work. I suppose that's all I'm really looking forward for. Looking forward to. Sorry. And it's gonna go down on Tuesday, like I said, 25th of October as Bot Nuking Day. I hope it does. But I just hope that they quickly respond to it as well. Like, for example, the second that they actually do it, I want them to... Like, if I if I could be in control, this is the way I see it. It's the same as in the world, right? The world, for me, always needs a strong leader. Like, like prime ministers and stuff. Like, at the moment, I don't really like our, the people in charge of our country. But I think what he needs is someone to be come in and be strong, take the shit for it, make some harsh decisions, and maybe have a bit of flack at the moment from the people. But then eventually they'll all realise it was done for a good reason. And that's what Jagex needs to do. They just need to go, right, we've tried it with this free trade. It's not worked. We've tried the PK. It's not worked. And I'm sorry, we're going to have to take that away. And, you know... Get, I mean, all uh, free trade did was bring back non-members. Yeah. 
That's all he's done. It's like they just need to get rid of it. There should be no reason why. Not even paid then, people. It's just. I I saw in a video today something about the economy of RuneScape relies like eighty or sixty percent on on uh, on free trade. I don't know if that's true, but that's crazy. I just think personally, but I, I personally think right they should get rid of free trade people. So for example, um, because the the kind of pointless. I mean, how much is RuneScape membership? It's a couple of quid a month, and that's nothing. If you, I mean. More people pay. Yeah, I, th I think the thing is, yeah, we I'd probably pay more, right, for my membership if it meant that they could get rid of more bots and get rid of, like, the free trade people because they're just annoying. They're not free trade, sorry, the free to play people. They just kind of irritate me. And if we just got rid of those, it'd be fine. And just get rid of, get to, like, the root of the real players that want to play this game. And that it would just get rid of all the kind of bullshit that just happens on this game that just makes it a bit crap. But, uh,. Yeah, I mean, that's so, yeah, it should be good. And like I said, though, there's a lot of flaws to it, unless they actually decide to be hard asses and actually do something straight after, like, get rid of the tr free trade and PK and stuff. Uh, the, you know, Wildy, I suppose it's called. And then, yeah, another thing I read the other day, apparently, because I've seen on Facebook loads of people posting videos, not videos, pictures of, like, spiders, like, big-ass spiders in their house. And I read somewhere that last spring we had a mild spring, and apparently because of that, not a lot of um, spiders died, and so they've kind of just been growing and eating and growing, and now that's why we've got like a load of freakishly big spiders. If anyone, I don't know if anyone could leave a comment telling me if you've seen any freakishly large spiders in the UK, but I know I have, and I've seen it on a lot of pictures from people, my friends, and I'm like. Oh, it's just weird, man. I would fucking cry if I saw a spider. Like, the other day I was on Skype to, with Nixon and everyone, and then this big-ass spider crawled from, like, to the left of my desk near where my drawers are, and I'm not going to be, I'm not, like, going to be match out. I fucking screamed. It was horrible. It was a big, dirty, like, you know them kind of spiders, Tom, that are so big, that like, thick legs and they're hairy? Like, why? Like, it was, yeah, like yeah, it was more like, it was fucking horrible. I, it's the fur on him as well, dude. I can't be doing with that shit at all. That shit freaks me out. I don't want anything like that. I'm, I'm bad. It's uh, stuff that flies with me. For example, like, I'm cool with... Like wasps and shit, you can't fly, you can't run away from it, can you? Yeah. They can catch what you. It is, it's like, I'm cool with, like, <sighs> I'm cool with stuff like creepy crawlers because I know my distance. I know they're not gonna like run upon me, and they're gonna catch me if I like. If I decided to run away, they couldn't get like they couldn't be like on me and shit like that. But it's like the fact, and they're never gonna be like near my face or anything. But it's the fact that like, even just like house flies, like when they fly around your face, it's like it's too close. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like I end up like just I know it's stupid, but I end up like putting my fist up and I start punching them. I punch them. You know when flies and stuff. Apart from wasps, I'm fucking shit scared of wasps because those motherfuckers hurt when they sting you. Like I know people like oh it's just wasps. The only people that ever say that are the people that have never been stung. <laughs> like if someone's been stung by a wasp, you know to fear the wasp, right? <laughs> it's only these weird ass people that have never been stung that are like oh it's okay man. They're just part of nature. They're not gonna hurt you. No, I know they are gonna hurt me because they're weird and they have no purpose for being on this world. Look at this shit, half killing him. Come on, Bart, at least fully kill it. Fuck. But, um, I mean, apart from that, uh, I've not really been up to too much. Apart from, I'm wanting to go and see some good movies soon. There's some good movies coming out, which, Tom, you're the media person. Do you want to throw in this yeah, little caption yeah. of what movies we're going to be seeing and look awesome? In time. In time? Uh, that looks really good with Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Uh, Give them the, the quick kind of synopsis of what that's about. It's about where in the future where the currency, which it actually is quite a logical idea that the fact in the future, um, currencies is li when they find, because I think when they do find the cure to to life, to, like to death, like the cure to death, um, they are gonna have to market life like this, and that it kind of plays on the fact to that um, life is, it plays on the fact that life is endless and. Um, that you have to work for life so you can live forever but everything costs life like a cup of tea costs a few minutes and you know what I mean it's just it's just in the so, like the so time is the currency yeah time is the currency I'm getting really pissed off with these bots dude I'm not even joking I can't even begin to explain how angry I'm getting right now <laughs> and um, there's that Tintin movie with um, oh Peter Jackson and Steven Spielberg which looks good because it looks literally like 
we're getting to a stage now where cartoons are looking even more realistic than they, they could ever be. Um, it's looking borderline real. Could have none of them fucking responding because they're all bastarding bots. I mean, you've seen the trailer for Tintin movie, haven't you? Yeah, Tintin movie looks fucking sick. I know it's a bit childish, like, concept of a film. Like, he's a kid going on treasure hunt, but come on. Let's be honest, right? The we graphics. all want to go on a kind of, like, caper chase where we have to go and find some buried treasure or whatever it's the fuck like it is. It's a bit like on Sky Movies. You can look f for ages. You can look for ages at all these uh, movies on Sky that are shit. And, but you know at the end of the day, if Shrek 3's on or there's a Shrek on that you've not seen, you know you can sit and watch it and not be disappointed. Whereas you can, you, where there can be some adult crime one and you know that he's just going to bore you to shit and you're going to turn it off. You can always rely on cartoons. Yeah, the 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 new cartoons that are coming out now are just so good graphically. Like that Tintin looks. He's supposed. To, he's got like the best graphics I've seen for cartoon. Not just that. He's directed by Peter Jackson, right? Oh, no, produced by. Peter Jackson. Produced by produced by Peter Jackson. Sorry, and then directed by Steven Spielberg. I mean, come the fuck on. They're like the two like the yeah. dons of movies. I, I mean, anything they make, people should just see by kind of <laughs> just fucking pr the principle of it i mean the name sells it oh definitely for me it does i want to go and see it and that's when's that out is that out now yeah that's out fuck off but get the fuck off my black demon so that should be good so yeah that looks pretty sick but yeah you're thinking of gotten some um ideas soon i think i might make a trailer for some of your ideas and like if i've got time i might if i've it's done one i might put it at the end of this video and something yeah it's like, it's, it's the time for me to get stuff out at the moment i mean i appreciate that people want to see my videos and i really like that and it makes me happy, but I just, I don't have the time with my studying and having a lot of big social life. It just takes, it take, my time these days just seems to be gone. I mean, I remember when I was younger, you just seemed to have all the time in the world. Like, you'd do nothing when you got back from kind of school and stuff. And now mm. it just seems like, essays. And yeah, we just, I mean, you say you get like a three hour essay and you get a couple, I get like about three of those a week. That's, that's it, man. That's your evening's gone. Um... But, I mean, I can't complain. We live in a nice country. We are, well, <laughs> I say that, but compared to other places, man. Mm -hmm. um, and the future's open for us. As long as we work hard, we can get to uni. And that's where I think the payment's going to come off in this kind of, like, we've gone through the bullshit now and then it's going to get a lot better. Um, but, I mean, me and Tom are going to a party on sometime next week. So we're going to a few parties. So we do, we do keep the balance from work and fun, kind of. We, we mix it up a bit. But, I mean, this video is more of a podcast thing because it's got so long. So I'm just going to kind of put, put name it as that. And if anyone wants to, you know, listen to this for the whole time and you're now still at the end, I'm pretty thankful for that. But I'm going to be bringing out some new stuff recently, like in the future. Like series. Yeah, see, I'm going to bring out some new series as like maybe... Uh, I don't know, I think I'm going to keep it a surprise for now, but it's going to yeah. be really good. I'm going to be putting a lot of effort into it and I've been planning it for a while. And then... I'm still going to have my kind of bossing series that I'm going to be doing. And it's just going to be me trying to make a load of money for our turmoil and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff. And then I might do another kind of series where I'm trying to get Barrows, Gloves and TDs, which is the ultimate goal from questing. But, yeah, I mean, that's all for the future and I'm going to get it done. But, I mean, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm going to get off here now and go and chill, listen to some music and stuff like that. Uh, might split it up into two. Yeah, I might split this video up. I mean, God, I, I never kind of plan these videos out that well, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks Lots for watching.